Good morning, church. Today we are delighted to announce the baptism of three precious souls. We have brother and sister Alan and Chanel King. They are newlywed. They got married last week. And we have brother uh, David um, Bullocks. And um, he's getting prepared, so I'm asking pastor to come so they can um, have their vows. Happy Sabbath, church. I'm going to invite this beautiful couple to please come forward at this time. Now, I want to introduce to you one of the newest couples here in this city. And this is the King family. They were married here just a short while ago. And uh, we give God praise for them. Now, um, the good news is that they came from a place that makes roti. (laughs) That's the good news. Amen? Um, Now, they've been on a great journey. And today, uh, I think it is only fitting that we welcome them here at Tabernacle. Alan has been here for many years. Um, You all know him very well. Chanel, his wife, is recently uh, moved here. And we give God praise for the decision today that they are taking. Um, At this time, I'm going to ask for our elder to ask the vows in preparation for baptism. Now, I must ask the church, as this is a time of prayer, uh, to please keep the other candidates in prayer. There are some that's on their way. We're trying to make arrangements to get them here uh, so that we continue. Whenever they get here, I will change again and have the baptism. Is that all right? Uh, So there's a whole lot happening today, but I want to just tell you thank you once again for all that you do and the support that you give. Elder. So, Brother and Sister King, um, if that's okay, Brother and Sister, all right. Uh, We'd like to ask you just three questions. I know you've been through the longer vows with the pastor before. We're going to condense them down to three, and if you agree with each of these questions, I'd just like for you to respond by saying, uh, I do, all right? So, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, and do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? Do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? And do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence, tithes, and offerings, and a life of service? All right. Then we'll accept a motion that we'll accept, uh, we'll entertain a motion that we'll accept Brother and Sister King into full membership here pending baptism. And is there a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. It is carried. Thank you. On that note, can we please bow our heads for prayer? Father, we want to thank you once again for this wonderful family. And we ask, O God, that as they prepare for baptism, that you will keep them, O God, that you will bless them, and we praise you today for all that you have done for them. And as they go down in this watery grave of baptism and come up anew, Lord, we ask that you will lead them into many different things that they will be able to look back and say, truly, you're a great God. So we thank you today, and we praise you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. (laughs) Folks, I know you're in praise mode, and you're enjoying the praise worship. But understand that when a lot has happened, you may not know, but we've been in prayer since 6 a.m. this morning. And even up till yesterday, a whole lot has happened in the background that I can't express to you. So in the moment that we are having praise and worship, let us thank God for what he's doing even now. And what we have here is a a testimony, a witness that we serve an all-powerful God. And I'm thankful today for both Kirk and Angie, who is making a decision 
to follow Christ and they have battled all of the devils in hell to be here. And you may not have any knowledge of what has happened in the background, but all I can say is praise God. So Elder English, today we have the Latangs, both Kirk and Angie, who are here for baptism. And we're interrupting the service so that we can prepare them um, with the vows. Um, we have already gone through the, the, the long version, but now we're going through the shortened version of the vows uh, so that we can prepare for baptism. Is that all right? Amen. 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 Elder English. The devil is busy. As soon as I needed to pull it up, my Wi-Fi got disconnected. So we're just going to pray here for a moment as it reconnects. Um, but God is going to come through here. Bear with me one moment. Sorry. Bear with me. Can you see me? Just not let that too long. Uh, I'm not sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what happened to this thing. Let's sing, a, this, let's sing this song real quick here. All to Jesus. Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, both now and forever. Satan, you have no, no right like we were fighting this morning, but I wrestle not against you. I turn you over to Jesus. God has brought his child here. God has brought his children here. And there is nothing, nothing rebuke you in the name of Jesus. This is God's child. He gave his life to the Lord some years ago. I am a witness. And he's come back. The Lord has brought him back. And no weapon formed against him formed against Kirkley Canning and his wife shall ever prosper you've had him for three weeks three weeks keeping away three weeks keeping him away but today father son and holy spirit yes three weeks he is covered covered by the trinity praise you lord god praise you lord god let the church pray let the church pray God is in control. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Him. Here is a child of God who wants to make a change in his life. And God enlisted me in this army so that I can tell people about the good news of salvation. He said to me this morning, he said, but you know I have a foul mouth. I said, but so did Peter. And so did many of us. And if God can change me who had a foul mouth, oh, can I tell it? My mom used to put soap in my mouth. Oh, yeah, the big bars. Because I had a filthy mouth. I'm telling all my business. But God changed me. Someone may ask, but you don't know him. I don't have to know him. Jesus does. And God can change him. God can change us. 
He is still working on him. And as a church, I ask each and every one of you to support this brother. Support him. Pray for him. Because God is working in his life. On that note, I'm going to ask Elder English if you would please go through the shortened version or the long version of the vows, whichever you see fit. At this, We did the long one already, so we'll go through the shortened version of the vows with Brother Bullock. And I pray that God will continue to work in your life. And God bless you. If you can give up this, then certainly God will take you on this journey and allow for you to give up many more things. He shared something that was just so profound with me. He said he walked in many other churches, and he listed some names which I will not. And he said he crossed this threshold here, and no one called the cops on him. No one called the cops, leading to believe that any or the others that he has crossed their thresholds, cops were called. So this day is a day of rejoicing, and we need to receive that. Brother David, but look, I know you've been through answering several questions and going over certain concepts with uh, Elder Simmons and Pastor before. I'm going to ask you three questions, and if you agree with each of these questions, just say, I do. First, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, and do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? I do. Yes. Do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? I do. And do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence, tithes and offerings, and a life of service? Yes, sir, I do. And subject to baptism, I'd like to accept the motion that we accept David Bullock into full fellowship with the Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church. Is there a motion? Is there a second? All in the favor say aye. aye. All opposed, same sign. It is carried. Thank you. I'm going to ask Elder Simmons to come and offer a word of prayer as we get ready to have David in the pool. Dear Lord, the fight is yours. You say, not by my nor by power, but by your Holy Spirit. Here's your child. You're the only one that can take care of him. We surrender him to you and you alone. You promise, Lord God, to supply all his needs physically, mentally, spiritually, psychologically, emotionally, and financially. There's nothing too hard for you. But I give you praise and thanksgiving to be a witness of David Bullock and all that you've showed me. We glorify you and we praise your holy name. Continue to bless him and keep him all along. Make your face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him. Lift up your countenance upon him, Lord God. Jesus. And give him your peace, both now and forevermore. It's in your hands, Jehovah Shalom, our God of peace. Yeshua Adonai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. It's always a blessing whenever we have a baptism. And uh, as we continue in the service, just a slight note that we are going to continue uh, by having a baptism toward the end of service. So please keep the candidates in prayer. Uh, before we do anything else, I'm going to invite you to please bow your heads with me as we pray uh, to begin this part of the service. Father, we just want to thank you today for all that you have done. We thank you for Chanel, 
and for Alan who has taken the step here today. And we ask, oh God, that you will bless them, be with their household. And as a couple, oh God, who is a newlywed, I ask, oh God, a special blessing upon them. As they come up out of this water, may they continue to rejoice knowing that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords who has saved them, given them a new lease on life. So we thank you today. This we pray in Jesus' name. Let all God's people say, Amen, Amen, Amen. amen. here who would like to support Chanel and Alan, um, I'm going to invite you all to please come forward, or at least to stand, uh, in support of them here today. Now, I must let you know that we are their family, um, as they have come here from Trinidad. They didn't bring any roti today, but they came here all the way from Trinidad, and so I'm thankful that they can be part of the family here at TAB. Um, on that note, I'm going to invite you all, please come forward. They want to see you all. You can take some pictures, if you may. This is Chanel. Because of your dedication to Jesus Christ, because of your willingness to follow him all the way and make him your Lord of Lords and King of Kings. As a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the church says, like to share a little bit from their experience. struggle to to get here or come here every time I tried you know um, 
um, something always came up or I get distracted with other things. Um, but the pastor and uh, Sister Sis Simmons, I appreciate them. They called me to to uh, just motivate me to come and Sister Simmons didn't want to get off the phone. She, she told me I can't hang up until I say, okay, I'm coming. And I said, I'm going to take a shower to get ready if you're on the phone. But she said, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but she, she, she convinced me to get here. And then I, I really wanted it for myself also to make a change and get my life back on track. And, um, I'm happy to be back. And I'm, I'm going to do better, you know, so I can see the second coming of Christ. Jesus. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for every member, every person that has been in the process to help us to come here. Um, because as he said, uh, we have been strong with many things. And the path has been a little bit complicated, but we are here. Even in the last minute when I was coming here, I started feeling fever. I was started feeling sick, and but I say I'm coming because I know that any time that you want to to commit to God, uh, something tries to avoid that you don't go it, and we already decided that we are gonna do it. I'm gonna speak by myself because I know that the commitment is with myself and God. Uh, but as a family, as a, as a, as our family, I also want to say thank you to the family, the time because. Uh, I came to this country and I have been with them and they have been receiving me as a member of the family too, as a daughter, uh, Mojo for that Jeffer. And I really appreciate all the things, so every single word, every single time that they are on the phone with me, telling me, explaining um, so many things, also for the pastor. Thank you so much and my commitment with God is from now and forever. <laughs> My brother Kirk, there's a whole lot of people in this church that love you. And at this time, I'm going to invite for our church congregation to please stand in support of this couple, the decision that they're making. <clears throat> brother Kirk Latan, because of your willingness to follow Christ in spite of the, all of the opposition of the enemy, today, my brother, as a minister of the gospel, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful until Jesus returns. And the church says, Amen. tried to stop you. He even tried to put a fever on you before you got here. But you were able to withstand. And today, your family is intact. God has great plans for you all. I want you guys to pause for a moment and take a look out there. Do you see all those people standing? Kirk, you see them? Yes. Those individuals are your family. Angie, that's your family. There are individuals who are also online that you can't see. But your family is supportive. And when the enemy comes against you like a flood, know that not only do you have a praying family right here, yeah. but you have a Savior who will beat him again. So today, Angie, because of your commitment to Jesus Christ and your willingness to follow him in spite of all of the opposition, as a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the entire church says, Amen. 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 